hi welcome all of you and uh, this particular video is related to the actual questions which you will get in the interviews of drdo as you know drdo interviews are going uh, are going to come soon many of you have got the calls for the interviews typically in uh, drdo isro barc they tend to check the approach which you follow in, during the interviews so they give you very simple question to start with so let us say you uh, you tell them that uh, strength of material is your favorite subject then they will ask you okay in strength of material do you know what is uh, what kind of stresses are induced in a body then you will say yes sir we know two kind of stresses are there normal stresses and shear stresses are there normal stresses further are of two types like you know uh, tensile stress compressive stress and uh, then he will ask you that if i give you a body subjected to normal uh, stress loading something like this if i give you a body subjected to normal stress can there be shear stress induced in the body and the answer is yes sir if a body is subjected to normal stress at particular plane let us say this plane then on the oblique plane you can get shear stress also and normal stress also then he will go further and then he will say okay how do you analyze the stresses in the body so he will say sir i analyze stresses uh, through some formulas and uh, maybe mohr circle then he will ask you okay why do you want to calculate maximum uh, uh, the principal stresses how do you define principal stresses why do you calculate principal stresses sir we calculate principal stresses to know the failure actually to predict the failure because we don't want failure to be there so to predict the failure we calculate the normal stresses okay so uh, failure is because of which stress normal stress or shear stress sir that depends upon what kind of material is there i mean it's a brittle material or you know ductile material or what is there normally the brittle materials are good in shear and uh, they have better shear strength compared to the ductile materials and ductile materials fail in the shear mode so that is the reason we need to calculate the shear stress then slowly we will enter into mohr circle you know what is mohr circle why do we plot mohr circle sir so better picture, uh, visualization the radius of mohr circle gives us maximum shear stress so, so to have better uh, visualization we draw mohr circle then this is now actual question of drdo <clears throat> then he will tell you okay i give you two diagrams make two dimensional diagram of a body subjected to sigma x and sigma y both are tensile sigma x is a major principal stress sigma y is the minor principal stress both are tensile and uh, they are acting on a body something like this now make third uh, you know uh, uh, loading third stress also sigma z which is zero so he has given you these two diagrams so this is two dimensional loading this is planar loading this is three dimensional loading you understand that can you make mohr circle for this and mohr circle for this so it will ask you to make the mohr circle for both of these and are also ask you can you identify which plane will carry the maximum shear stress so this is the real drdo question two dimensional stress loading three dimensional stress loading and he will ask you to plot to plot more circle for both of these and tell the plane of maximum shear stress in both the cases and where the ductile material is going to fail at which plane ductile material is going to fail let me tell you now for two dimensional stress loading very simple more circle the x axis is normal axis and y axis is the shear stress axis so normal axis where we get you know ab plane this one is plane is ab plane where only 200 pascal or whatever we unit we give it to this particular stress sigma x is available at ab plane now ad plane is 90 degree from ab but on mohr circle that is 180 degree so we get ad plane per 100 unit of stress now maximum shear stress as per this particular diagram is nothing but radius of mohr circle and you get this as a mohr circle radius sigma t maximum if you see the diameter is 100 so radius is uh, you know 50 in this particular case and maximum shear stress which we are going to get is equal to radius so can you tell me what is the radius in this radius is nothing but maximum shear stress and that in this case comes out to be 50 units so that is the maximum shear stress and on which plane it is coming it is coming on this plane ac plane you understand that so this one is the ac plane the moment i draw the other diagram which is given to me the moment 
other diagram I draw which is given to me. This is a diagram which I get. And in this diagram now, sigma z is given 0. How do you draw Mohr circle for this? Now you need to draw Mohr circle for, you know, these three axes, normal stress, shear stress, and this is the three-dimensional loading. 3D, Mohr circle for 3D. This is Mohr circle for 3D loading. Mohr circle for 3D loading is drawn something like this. So, what is the maximum stresses? How many radii you are going to get in this particular case? If I consider, you know, I am going to get three kind of radius here. Let's say R1, R2, R3. R1 is coming out to be maximum, that is 100. Right? R1 is coming out to be, so, sorry, R2 and this is same. So, R1 is coming out to be you know this is coming out to be 200 minus 0 by 2. Another circle which I can see here is this and let us say this for me now is R2. So, that R2 sigma y is also 100. So, R2 is 50 and R3 is also 50. So, I am going to get three circles here one circle. So, three dimensional stress loading may you get three circle and the radius is nothing but sigma x minus sigma y by 2 it can be sigma y minus sigma z by 2 it can be sigma z minus sigma x by 2 so take the combination uh, permutation combination and whatever is the maximum whatever is the maximum you have to take that so you have to take maximum of these three and accordingly the maximum radius you have to take and that will be the maximum shear stress on what plane so now you see it is uh, maximum is sigma x minus sigma z x z plane now this is sigma x this is sigma z so x z plane pe mereko batao kaise fail karega can you tell me now x z plane means what which is this plane x z plane and uh, this was you already calculated so what is x z plane is this the plane or is this the plane or what do you think is the plane which plane do you think it is going to fail that was the third question on which plane can you make that particular diagram and tell me on which plane this particular body is going to fail shear plane kaun se wala hoga? that is very very important question think it off and this was a real DRDO question and I am very sure you have got some idea how the questions they will frame kitna maximum shear stress aega or kaun se plane pe fail karega how this all evolves so when you study some subject in engineering, please go in depth of that. Please go some deep uh, knowledge up to that. Both formula wise nahi, concept wise. Concept wise should be very very clear. I mean picturization ki kaun sa plane hoga ho. That also is important. You need to make some picturization ke which plane it is going to be accordingly you have to go for it. Fine. Thank you.